A question for the legislators who are working on this. Have you faced any opposition so far? Uh, you know, we were waiting to, uh, for a word from the Department of Corrections because a common question was, what does this mean for uh, prison labor? Um, and we had several answers for that first, which it's, it's not the same. Slavery is not the same as uh, being sentenced to prison and, and having to work. Um, it's not buying or selling of a human being, and at the end of the day, you really cannot, cannot force someone force to do someone something. To do something, to do something, to do something. Now, a history of forced labor after the Civil War. A new documentary that airs tonight on PBS tells the story of how American citizens, freed by the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, remained under lock and key for decades afterward. Slavery, Slavery by, by another, another name, name, based on the Pulitzer Prize-winning book of the same name, tells the story of the thousands of African Americans who were arrested on trumped-up charges and forced to work as convict labor. In many cases, they were sent to the South's coal mines, including some owned by businessman and former slave owner John Milner. Historians and actors describe it in this excerpt. After emancipation, industrialists replaced slaves with convicts, acquiring thousands from state and county governments. You can't drive free labor the same way that you can force prisoners to mine five tons of coal a day. And this is why people like Milner wanted prisoners in his coal mines. He saw them as a great source of profit, and he didn't have to worry, didn't about, have labor to worry about labor disputes. About labor disputes. wage in prison is around 63 cents per hour. And remember, that's the average. So that means there are states where prisoners make considerably less. In Texas, Georgia, Arkansas, and Alabama, prisoners are not paid for their work at all. And in some places, they're required to work under threat of disciplinary action. If they say, no, I'm not going to work, they can write you up for that. They can send you to solitary for that. That's, that's, now that's slavery. To, to work for free? Yeah. And then they Under can rest. and they can put you in solitary if you don't yeah. work or write you up for not working. Yeah. For free. Why is that not slavery? Yeah, that's not good because why is that not slavery? Is one of those questions that even if you have to ask it, something has already gone very wrong. Like how many swastika tattoos or which of mommy's nightstand drawers did you open? Things are already bad. We just need to figure out how bad. And the answer to why is this not slavery is, well, it's not exactly not slavery. Because it turns out treating prisoners as slaves is literally written into the Constitution. The 13th Amendment states that slavery is abolished except as a punishment for a crime. And the amendment abolishing slavery is really not the one that you want to suddenly include the word except. except. 